Well, it's another year and that means it's time for another year of new Pixar releases and this time we have Pixar going a little bit out of their comfort zone from the director of Monsters University. Set in a suburban fantasy world, two teenage elf brothers, Ian and Barley Lightfoot, go on a journey to discover if there's still magic left out there in the world in order to spend one last day with their father who died when they were too young to remember. So Onward is a bit of an interesting case for Pixar, as this is them doing something a little bit different. And what I mean by that is that Pixar have always very much stuck to a very kind of human-based world within all of their films. Besides a couple of exceptions that are still kind of linked, they have mostly stuck to human worlds, even if they are not focused on humans specifically. So Onward taking place in a completely new fantasy world was something that's a bit different for them. And also, I was a bit sceptical going into Onward just because I felt like this film, based on the trailers and the marketing material, it wasn't installing me with much hype or much anticipation for the film. And it almost felt like with the lack of marketing for this film that Pixar and Disney were maybe even trying to bury this film. And while I'm not quite sure how this film will do at the box office, I actually think this might be a bit of a lower one for Pixar. I don't know why they were trying to bury it, and also I don't think I should have actually been as sceptical as I was, because Onward just continues to prove why Pixar is one of the finest animation studios out there. First of all, let's start off with the voice cast, and our two main talents here are Tom Holland and Chris Pratt, who play the two brothers, and they are both really good in this movie. I really enjoyed their banter, they felt like brothers, their chemistry was strong, and I really felt their connection in this movie. They really felt like they were characters who had grown up together and who know how each other tick, and I really appreciated that, because you kind of need that with brother characters, like especially in this case with these two brothers who had grown up together, and in some ways almost act as kind of parents for one another, I think it really works well to serve each other the way they do. And I think Tom Holland, as always, who's kind of using the same accent he uses in the MCU as Spider-Man, he kind of, you know, delivers that youthfulness that you expect from Tom Holland. And Chris Pratt is something a little bit different here. While his accent is still very much Chris Pratt, he's kind of playing a bit of a different character in this as he is playing a bit more of a goofball character, which is kind of nice for him to kind of go back to that because obviously that is kind of where he started. He began in comedy. And yeah, he's still stuck to very comedic heavy roles, but he's always been a bit more of an action-heavy guy, whereas with this, he kind of takes a bit of a different approach to it, and that I really like. So I think the voice acting overall, especially with other people like Julia Louis-Dreyfus, who plays the mother, or Octavia Spencer in this movie, all of them do really great work as always. Now, as I mentioned, this world that this that Pixar has created for Onward is a very different one for them. This fantasy world that is filled with all these different mythical and magical creatures and beings is something that we've not quite seen from Pixar before. And I really, really like the world in this film. While it doesn't quite get explored as much as I would have liked, I still really like what we got with it. It shows this world that has been so desensitized to magic. It's something that's so, you know, just expected in this world that it's just not really used anymore. And technology started to take the place of magic in this world. And I think that's a really interesting concept to play around with, especially because there is that idea out there that magic is just technology that we don't understand quite yet and things like that. It kind of plays on that concept, but with this, instead, it actually kind of shows that technology rose above magic in this world, and it led to technology actually kind of making magic redundant. And I think that was a really cool idea, and as time's gone on, people in this world have just almost forgotten about magic, so much so that Tom Holland's character doesn't even believe magic exists. Chris Pratt's character still believes it's out there and is kind of obsessed with it, whereas Tom Holland, he never grew up in a magic-based world, so he doesn't even believe it exists. And I think that, for a fantasy world like this, is really interesting, and you kind of see how all these diff different mythical beings just don't even act magical anymore, that you've got, like, the... There's a character who's kind of half human, half horse, and, you know, it's this thing, there's this recurring joke throughout the movie that he doesn't even run anywhere, he always drives a car, or there's these other little mythical fairy-like beings who don't fly anywhere. It's just really interesting that these this world has been so desensitized to magic that they just don't even believe it exists anymore. And this film does have a really nice heartfelt story, as you would expect from Pixar at this point. I think that this film really focuses on aspects like parentage and brotherhood, and it's those familial themes that really hit home in this film. I definitely, as you would expect from Pixar, I was tearing up quite a few times throughout this movie, and a lot of that comes from the kind of family relationships within it. I really felt the bond between Tom Holland's character and Chris Pratt's character, and also the way that they go about the father issue in this movie, and where that ultimately concludes, I think is really 
really emotional. I was really grasped, uh, grasped by this movie and by the father aspect of the movie. And I actually think the movie was really well handled in how it actually went about the father. I thought it was going to go in a very conventional sense, but it actually doesn't. And I was quite impressed with that. And I think that this movie just handles all those themes really nicely. And as you'd expect from Pixar, the animation in this film is absolutely stunning. Of course, it goes without saying these days, a Pixar movie looks beautiful. Of course it does. I do have a couple of negatives for Onward though. For one, I do feel like while Pixar is very well known for making films for both adults and kids, you know, very well regarded family films that everyone can enjoy, I do feel like the Onward is a bit more on the childish side of their sort of library. I think that they are kind of you know, aiming a bit more towards kids with this one than they are uh, to adults. So there are a couple of, you know, adult themed jokes and there are a couple of things, you know, and I very much, you know, I guess I'm, I mean, I'm 18, so I guess I'm technically an adult. I did very much enjoy this film, but I do feel like that there are a lot more child-friendly jokes and a lot more of a child-friendly demographic they're going for with this one. So do be prepared for that going in. It's not quite as mature as some of their other films. And with that, the comedy didn't always land for me. I do feel like there are a few jokes that do kind of of just fall completely flat whether it's because they are too childish or it just wasn't particularly well written i do feel like the comedy in this film does kind of walk this very fine line and a lot of the time it does fall off the line on the wrong side i think that the comedy while again i did laugh at some of it and there are some very funny lines in this movie there's also a lot of them that just don't really work and I feel like that they just kind of let down the movie and kind of have an awkward kind of pause every now and then which can be a bit frosty. Overall though Onward pleasantly surprised me as I said I think going into this film I was a bit cynical about it and I was a l very skeptical going in I didn't think I was going to like this movie that much I thought this was easily going to be one of my least uh, favorite Pixar films and while I still feel like this is kind of in the lower middle tier of Pixar movies I still think it was very good and very well made and I was very impressed with it and like I said I came out with it actually really enjoying it and really liking it and I'm definitely going to be picking this up on Blu-ray and watching it again because I really enjoyed it. I had a great time with it. I think the cast is great. Animation is beautiful. I really like the story and the world that this movie takes place in. Yeah, the comedy is not amazing and I do feel like it is a bit childish at times, but I think I can look past that and enjoy the movie for the characters and the story and the world that is all beautifully created by Pixar. And in the end, I really enjoyed Onward and I think that a lot of you will as well. So have you guys seen Onward yet? If you have, make sure you let me know all your thoughts about it in the comment section down below. Were you a fan of it or did you think it was a bit disappointing? Whatever you thought about it, let me know in the comments down below. And as always, guys, if you want to see more movie reviews and movie related videos just like this one, be sure to subscribe and hit that notification bell so you don't miss an upload from me. And I hope to see you guys again in my next video.